have you talked to Eduardo Luna about this? Because he no. f- he feels that this that the great secret of ayahuasca that remains to be discovered is what it's like if you keep these specialized diets and load your system with uh, uh, serotonin via plantains. Uh Uh, They live practically on plantains. Yes, and there is a specialized diet, and often shamanic power is... um, judged by how long a man claims to have kept this diet. Now, this is an area no, none of us have explored. Rare enough here is the person who... Well, Eduardo went on, into it in a small way. He did it for about uh, 10 days or so. So here's a frontier for self-experiment. Uh, what is it That's like to keep accessible. these high start... Well, the diet is plantains, which are these cookable bananas, and a very little bit of fish and yucca, and that's basically it. No greens, no sugar, no alcohol, uh, an extremely minimal diet. I mean, almost as spare as a Tibetan diet. No fruit. Diet. No fruit. No anything. Except those things. And a lot of ayahuasca in in isolation. I mean, daily dosing. Yes. And uh, living in a little hut, being served by a child who's the only if person If they are served, so no, some of them don't even have that contact. Uh-huh. Well, this experience of dissolution is experience of dissolution into the maternal matrix. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it's felt like that. It's a It's a dying and a being reborn. And surely... These early people and people on that level of culture today must have experienced it that way as a death and a rebirth. People have the wrong idea about the jungle in the sense that people think, well, it's so so much vegetation, there must be a lot of food. But you see, you can starve. You can starve. People have the evolution has been so tight for so long that no excess protein is being produced and if it is produced a bird a monkey an ant is gobbling it up long before you get near it and then you gobble up the bird monkey or ant that's right especially those ants at the big behind <laughs> yes sweet, were, the, the, you, were you ever among uh, we uh, mu, muinani they stick straws down into the ant hills and all the ants latch on, and these Muinani children would pull these things out of the ant hills and put the ants in bowls of water and smash it up with a. No, I haven't seen that. Yeah, it was delicious. Uh, I can take masato and quantity, love it. Don't you? I learned to like it. M- masato is this foaming yucca beer that uh, after you've walked miles through the jungle and you arrive at some place... The the, first thing they offer you. They meet you with a foaming gourd of this stuff, and it's chewed by the elderly women in the village. It's cooked yucca chewed. And they spit it. The, The mouth enzymes, the sugars work on it, and then it's fermented.